Hello and welcome back. Now today I want to talk about some carburetor issues that come along with heat. Heat soak carburetors and fuel boiling. Now I'm sure some of you know someone or personally experienced these issues. And these issues consist of the fuel boiling whenever you park the, the vehicle. You can have trouble starting it after. Low performance. Economy. Etc. So I know a lot of people try to find different ways to eliminate it and keep the carburetor cooler. Now, the way I usually tend to do it is actually a gasket. Now, usually whenever you buy a new gasket, it comes with gaskets like this. These really thin, cheap gaskets. Now, what I usually do is on every engine I run a gasket like this. This is a heat insulator gasket. Notice how much thicker it is and it's made of a different material. Now it does still seal very well. You can see the impressions left by the carburetor. It seals well and it does help keep the heat from coming from the intake to the carburetor and it does help with fuel boiling problems. Now I speak from experience because where I'm at upper 90s for the summertime is very common and it's not uncommon to get up to 110 sometimes even hotter around here so let me show you what I'm doing on these two trucks right here real quick and right, now here's my daily driver it does have a spacer small gasket thin gasket under the spacer and there is my heat insulator gasket. And here is another one of my trucks. It's a big block truck, no spacer, intake manifold, heat insulator gasket, carburetor. Now it's obvious that this truck has a spacer, the other doesn't. Now this truck right here is my daily driver. Now I drive this all the time. I drive it on trips. I've driven this hours away in the summertime and have no issues after driving it for hours at a time. The other truck over there with the big block, I can drive it around the summertime, put my foot in it, do burnouts, same thing. I don't have problems with the heat soak carburetor or fuel bullying. So it's obvious for me they do work, those gaskets. Now Yes, you can use a spacer to help, but sometimes you don't really have the room to add a spacer. So really, for some people who look at, well, I want to keep my carburetor cooler, but I can't run a spacer. These little heat insulator gaskets do come in very handy. And obviously, even using a spacer, I still use a heat insulator gasket. And I have zero issues from my daily driver that truck over there and any of my other projects as well so if you're having some issues with fuel boiling or your carburetor getting heat soaked a bit if you're not running a heat insulator gasket you probably want to try one for around $20 it's not gonna hurt anything I hope this information proved helpful as always thanks for watching